Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal-mursalin Amma ba'du Bayanu hukmi hamli sabiyyi wa wud'ihi fi salat Bayanu the clarification Hukmi of the ruling Hamil of carrying Right? A sabi, a young child and placing him down while the ain to place something down so the ruling of carrying a child and putting him down in the salat al hadith as-sadis wa tis'un the 96th hadith an abi qatadata al ansari radiyallahu anhu on the authority of Abu Qatada al Ansari, may Allah be pleased with him. And the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kana yusalli. He narrates that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to pray. Wa huwa hamilun umamata bint Zainab bint Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he was carrying hamilun, he was a carrier. Hamil is the fa'il, meaning he was a carrier. He was carrying Umamata. What was he doing? What was he carrying? Umamata bint Zainab, his granddaughter. Umama, the daughter of Zainab, bint Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the daughter of Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wali Abi al-As ibn Rabi' ibn Abd shams who was the also the daughter of Mama was also the daughter of Abil As ibn Rabi' ibn Abd shams who later on accepted Islam, right? Abul As in the beginning, Abul As ibn Rabi' ibn Abd shams later on accepted Islam. And just a few side notes, some things which are not necessarily... Pointed out here, but something I think is neat or interesting to know, and that is that Abil As ibn Rabia is the nephew of Khadija bint Khuwaylid. Radiallahu anha. She's the he's the nephew of the Prophet's wife. So basically, the nephew of Khadija married her daughter. So they were cousins. Abul As is the cousin of Zainab. And Umama, radiallahu anha, later on, Ali, radiallahu anhu, married her. Umama, later on, married Ali, uh, married Umama. Ali, later on, married Umama, the granddaughter of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa So after Fatima's death, radiallahu anha, Ali married Fatima's niece. Just interesting facts. Tayyib. So, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Kana Yusalli wa Hu Hamilun, Umamata bint Zainab, bint Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Muli Abi Al As, Ibn Rabia, Ibn Abd Shams. So, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to pray, and he was carrying Umama, the daughter of Zainab, his daughter, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Who is also the daughter of Abul As ibn Rabia ibn Abd Shams? Faida Sajada, and when he would make prostration, Wada'aha, he would put her down. Waida Kama, and when he would stand up, Hamalaha, he would carry her again. All right? Doesn't say again, but he would carry her. So you put her up, put, put, put her down, carry her, put her down, pick her up. This hadith is in Bukhari number 516 and Muslim 543. Min fawa'idi wa ahkam al hadith should be a singular here. We have one hadith from the virtues or benefits and rulings of the hadith. Awalin, firstly, jawazu hamli as sabiyyi wa wad'ihi fi salati. The permissibility of carrying a child and placing him down in the salat. Ma lam. ما لم تتحقق تتحقق 
najasatuhu. As long as he, there is no najasa, there is no impurity known. For example, uh, a soiled diaper that is going to get wet and the urine and the feces is going to get on you, right? Then it's permissible to carry a young child and put him down as long as the his najasa is not going to be uh, affecting you. Thanian. Secondly, an al-amala, al-mushabaha, lidharika, mushabaha, meaning that an action which is similar to that, a similar action, lidharika, an action similar to that, la yubtilu as-salat, does not negate or violate or nullify the salat so if you were to do anything else like picking up or putting down something in the salat for some reason does not negate the salat thalithan husnu khuluq al nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the good character of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa mulatafatihi wa mulatafatihi and his mulatafa, his kindness towards children. So the good character of the Prophet وسلم, and his kindness towards children from lam ta fa, like latif, he's kind. Mulatafa, his kindness towards children. Rabi and fourthly, Yusra Sharia. Al Islamia was Samahatuha. The ease, Yusr, the ease of the Islamic legislation was Samahatuha. And it's Samaha, it's loftiness, it's nobleness, right? Showing all of these great features. So this hadith shows the greatness of Islam and its ease. هذا والله تعالى أعلم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين